I'm here. My first city on my first solo trip ever. I can't say I'm not nervous going to the countryside as my first stop, but I know it will be exactly the vibe I need. So, annyeong annyeong, bangawoyo. Hopped up on a cab at 5 a.m. to catch the train from Seoul to Andong. This gives me time to drop off my bags at the hostel, grab a coffee, and play with the cats at the cafe here. from Andong. Ah! I'm so nervous. This is the hostel area. It's so rural. Like, ah, uh, my God. It will be super dark when I walk back. I'm sure of it. And I don't know if they even have city lights. Okay, whatever. We'll figure that out later. But I'm so excited. These are the plain old neighborhood streets of Andong which I don't think there's any vlogs out there showing I searched the whole internet for Andong videos and I couldn't find anything so yeah for my memory I guess <laughs> and nothing calls me out like a city girl more than this so this I think they're gonna plant something but it smells like shit and I assume it is because it's like covered up or something <coughs> Oh my god I can't breathe It smells so bad I'm tearing up, okay I should stop talking I mean I just feel like a total hypocrite I always say that I want to have a farm life, a slow life You know, a chill pace But if I think about farming And dealing with that I don't think I can. I'll just I'll just cry every day. Uh, I'm just a city girl who wants too much. That's that's it. The reason why I got up at 4 a.m. in the morning today is because today's plan is to hop on an official local city tour bus. Public transport around the city is quite difficult, and the attractions are very spread out. My heart was beating so fast. I was both very nervous and very excited. The day was going to be great. Until I realized. Well, so um, I unknowingly signed up for a Korean tour. I don't know why I thought it would be in English. I mean, the poster was in English and there were like foreigners on the picture. So I thought it would be in English. And the driver was like, look at this, we go Saram. She emailed me and I'm just like, oh my God. Uh, getting by, doesn't matter, can just take all the nice photos So I'm afraid I won't be able to give any explanations It's okay, I will just roam around I should have brought down my tripod, I was just so confused as to what's going on What a nice weather, huh? All I can say is, my decade of watching Korean content was not wasted I got through basic conversational Korean with ease. Well, at least enough to get through the day. I mean, I've not spoken Korean to anyone before, so that was super nerve-wracking. But I survived! Yay! All the native Koreans say that my Korean was really fluent, so I take a lot of pride in that.
Launch was this super posh set of bibimbap, which is Korean mixed rice. And it even comes with all these fancy side dishes. And shikhe, which is a rice punch beverage. But this one tastes like fruit punch with fruits inside. Honestly, it confuses everyone. I just want to give a special shout out to these two girls who allow me to follow them for lunch and the second half of the day. Later at night, we found that we're actually also hostel roomies. What a fate. I mean, I just wish that I was brave enough to ask for at least their Instagram, but I forgive myself. It's my first solo rodeo and I just didn't know any better. There are around four tour routes and I chose this particular one because we are going to visit one of the filming locations of a famous Korean drama, Mr. Sunshine. If you're a fan of war stories, this is genuinely the best drama to watch. With some trauma, of course, I have to warn you first. A true masterpiece, it is one of my favorite K-dramas of all times. Give it a chance. I promise it's good. I am so extremely lucky to have met this very cute Adashi as my tour guide. He is super passionate about photography. His camera and lens are honestly much better than mine. And he takes amazing, amazing photos of everyone. He directs the shots, the poses, the scenery, everything. And because I walked with him a lot, I got a ton of beautiful photos. Just, just look at them. After the tour, I went to the city center to try the famous Andong Timdak, which is a braised chicken dish. Honestly, I was so nervous because this is not a solo eater dish. A lot of main dishes in Korea are prepared for at least two people. 
and I was afraid that they would not let me in or that I would have to buy a two people's portion, which is honestly expensive. I walked around the market at least three times. I don't know, I lost count. Before this nice Ajuma invited me into her store. Portion was still massive for a solo eater, but at least I gotta try it. I can't say that it's anything extraordinary, but I also can say that I'm not a fan of anything braised, so I am a very biased judge. It is still worth a try because it's still really good. Also a must try is the Andong Soju. It is said that soju originates from Andong. There's even a whole museum here about it. Here the soju goes up to 20 and 40%, which is crazy. I got a 20% one and it honestly tastes so much better than whatever they export to the world. It goes down your throat so smoothly, you can barely feel it. And it will be probably, maybe, lethal at some point. So bear that in mind when you drink and just be careful, pace yourself, all that good stuff. The ajuma was so nice to let me order for one person. Which is 20,000 won. They don't usually allow solo diners, so... The key is to just look lost and look like you really want to eat it. And a nice email will attend to you. I don't think I'll finish this. So much. Like, I'm left with two, but I finished that. Okay, you don't need to see that. So, yeah. Pretty good! I did great. And I drank half a soju bottle. That's a lot. Like, a lot. Don't tell my mom. I honestly don't know whether it's because there's no celebrities patronizing her store, or it's like at the corner, but her store is kind of quiet, so I think it doesn't make sense for her to reject you if you're alone. So like, if they reject you when you're alone, it's probably because there's like a lot of people going there. If you go without no one, then I don't think they'll reject you because that doesn't make sense business-wise if their store isn't full. It's a small fountain. It's seven and there's like nothing open anymore. Prepping myself for war. <laughs> or just another day at the village with no food at night. Okay, no soju. I have the Andong soju. No coffee. Coffee is really sweet here. I don't like it. Room tour! This is a six bed hostel. But it's so much more spacious. And it's super cozy. Okay, let's check out the bathroom. <laughs> In the room! Amazing! Woo! Woo! Okay, this is super new and super clean. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy it's so clean! Wow! Wow! Okay, so far there's only two people. I don't know if there'll be more. The only downside to this place is the alley to walk in is like so secluded like oh my god I was scared for my life Let me show you what I did I brought these two flashlights which were like props for the recital I just like did this <laughs> Two of them oh my god I was so scared it was so freaking dark look at that I was just walking like that And I'm walking as fast as I can <sighs> Gosh, okay, let's unpack. 